Hey guys, um, you, you, didn't, you, you didn't get to see it, but I'm gonna try to describe it. Brad actually just kind of at one of the lights, he was like, I don't know, like an eight spot at the red light. And he, I saw him kind of moving over to the side and I'm like, what's he doing? And then when the light turned green, he just gunned it and passed the whole group, went to the front. And then he took off and he like, I was like, whoa. And then I, I stayed back for a bit and then I decided to chase after him. And then I worked my way through the group. And now Brad's like, he just got past just now. But for the for, for the last like six miles, he's been he's been number one. And we merged with another group. And the other group is all uh, large bikes, like 600cc and up. In front of me, we have a Ducati. Brad stayed ahead of them as well. Just now, he finally got passed by one of them. But for the last, like, uh, yeah, about about five miles, he's been like ahead of everyone and flying around corners at high speed. And and, and I can see like even like people on Ducatis and shit were like kind of struggling to keep up with him on the corners. And I was like, what? Because <laughs> the last last time I rode with Brad, he was pretty slow on his uh, Ninja. And now all of a sudden, and it's weird too, because like today he was like, when we started, when I met with him today and we started riding, he was riding especially slow, slow. like he's already slow to begin with and he was riding slower than normal. And I'm like, I'm like, Brad, what the fuck? And he's like, oh, I got new tires, they're slippery, I can't go quick. And I'm like, they're only slippery for like the first few kilometers, that's it. You're probably already out of the slippery stage. And then he kept riding slow anyways, and, and then I'm like, okay. And then all of a sudden, just like, as if he's, you know, maybe a stick of poop or something, because all of a sudden he just guns it and just takes off. And I was impressed. So, but I give him a shout out. He's still ahead of the Ducati, he's still ahead of me. Look, look at it, you can't even see him anymore. I'm pacing the Ducati, and then Brad's pulled away. What are those guys doing, man? Oh, and I picked a fight with a guy, too. There was a guy, right when I ended my last video, like, just my luck, I turned the video off, and then two seconds later, I'm, like, honking at this car. He was in the left lane, and he was, like, and he had all of us next to him. Like, he had a whole fucking group of, like, 20-plus motorcycles to the right of him. And he just starts merging into our lane for, like, no reason. Uh, there's a bunch of guys taking photos there, but I didn't... I didn't get my lean on, because I was in the middle of a sentence. Um, so, oh yeah, so I, I just, I got, like, I started laying on my horn, like, get the fuck out of my, you know, he's a car in the left lane, and then he was, like, he was, he was, he was straddling this, the, 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 the segmented white, he was straddling the line like, that separates lanes, and I'm just, like, what the fuck, so I, I'm in the right lane, and I'm just, like, holding in my horn, my horn's pretty loud on this bike, it's, like, dual air horns. Uh, not big air arms, but small ones. Anyway, so yeah, I just held, I just got, I just held my horn in and just held it in and held it in. And, um, yeah, Brad's still ahead, look at, he's like, we're doing a good, we're doing a good clip right now. So I just held the horn in and held the horn in, and then I get next to the guy and he's all like, what the fuck, and blah, 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 and I'm like, get in your own fucking lane, asshole, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, there's two lanes, stay in yours. This guy in front of me is slow. So, yeah, so, he was a big, fat, ugly guy in a, in a really cheap looking car. And then I actually saw him, like, he checked his mirrors and stuff, and like, he re kind of realized, I think he was gonna keep mouthing off to me, but then he realized that there's like 20 of us, and he thought maybe it's not the best idea in the world. Brad, man, seriously, he got passed by the Ducati now, but he's still like, he's, it looks like he's trying to stand the Ducati's ass. Uh, that is Brad, right? I'm not like, <laughs> he didn't swap bikes with someone and Brad's like way behind me somewhere. That actually makes more sense. That's probably what happened. Yeah, this isn't Brad at all. He, he probably swapped bikes with one of the other guys to test it out.